To discuss that, we're now joined Mr. E. Michael Jones, who is the editor of Culture Wars Online Magazine, and he's joining us live now from South Bend uh, via Skype. Mr. Jones, thanks for joining us. Um, how do you feel about Trump's comments? First of all, Donald Trump is absolutely right when he says that NATO is obsolete. It became obsolete in 1991 when uh, the Soviet Union collapsed. It's been used as a, a weapon of Western aggression against Russia ever since, and so he's right. It deserves to go out of existence. Secondly, I think we need to contemplate the tragic figure of Angela Merkel. Uh, unlike what Donald Trump says, she was not a great leader. She did not represent Germany's interests uh, at all during the last few years. She was a vassal of the United States, and as a vassal of the United States, she pursued a disastrous policy for Germany, namely alienating Russia. Germany needs Russia. The, 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 I, I used this image before, but this is Angela Merkel, you know, to the Russians. If you don't do what we say, we'll pull the trigger. Well, they did. They, they alienated the Russians. They need to sell things to the Russians. They need Russian gas and oil. The only reason Angela Merkel did this was to follow, uh, to do the bidding of her American masters. And now the masters have changed on her. And now she's in that tragic figure of being the jilted woman. And so, Mr. Jones, what do you feel about uh, what Trump has said about the, this open door, apparently, policy uh, towards um, asylum seekers? Yes, it's been a disaster. There's a worldwide revulsion against open borders. This, this uh, policy was also instrumentalized by certain forces in Europe who used, the, uh, used this mass migration as a way of attacking German uh, sovereignty, the sovereignty of every single country in Europe, and now it backfired. It backfired on these people. Everybody hates globalism now. Now there's a reaction, and now they're going to have to come with, up with a new policy. And then as final thought, Mr. Jones, you know, when we have these asylum seekers, uh, it's not happening in a vacuum, right? I mean, uh, we could say that Europe's own policies, in a sense, led to the fact that there is instability in their own countries, and that is why they're seeking safety elsewhere. Do you think Europe is willing to then change its policies? Yes, of course Europe played into this. They should have never supported the war in Syria. They should have never supported this war because that's what unleashed all these asylum seekers. But it goes back a long way uh, to Germany. When I, when I lived in Germany during the 70s, they had plenty of Turks there who were basically trying to fill the gap uh, as uh, Gastarbeit or as employees because they had such a powerful industrial uh, infrastructure and they weren't having enough children. That's the problem with uh, Germany in a nutshell. You know, great industry, too few children, and so you try to import people and suddenly this big push from Syria pushes it over the top and now you've got a reaction. Okay, Mr. Jones, we'll leave it there at that, but as always, of course, we appreciate you taking your time out to share your insight with us.